is Mel Whaley and I'm actually the president of Tennessee Advocacy Talk. We are a newly formed uh, nonprofit organization as of December 1st, 2017. And the purpose of our organization was really to increase the quality of care for patients in the mental health and substance abuse industry. There's actually two ways that our organization actually has programs and products to do this. So first is increase the efficiency in which these patients receive the treatment that can be acute to outpatient or any type of healthcare setting. The second is incorporate quality assurance programs for employees and increase the quality of the environment in which they work. That means helping them find out ways to uh, lower overhead and increase their employee morale, such as having high caseloads to decrease those and a whole lot more. We also believe in technology-based programs to increase efficiency and decrease on overhead costs as well. And so through that, we actually offer a telemedicine and telehealth program for behavioral health, which we've actually had a contract and have a contract with the number one telemedicine provider in the whole nation. And basically, it is for every little level sector of care. And we actually have a state representative to help with any types of parity laws, Medicaid, commercial top reimbursements, and we all know that can be difficult to understand. But what I really love that we have is a consulting firm inside of our nonprofit. So we'll actually go into your nonprofit treatment facility, any level of care, and basically do a quality assurance assessment and show you areas of opportunity to where you can actually better the quality of your environment at your work. The other project that we have going on is our recovery and regular coaching, and it's a virtual type program. Therefore, our coaches never have to disrupt cases, and the patient basically can travel anywhere they want and still have that same, that same coach. And our coaching is a little bit different because we actually incorporate ways for financial security, such as credit repair, credit building, and we all know that that is a huge hurdle that lots of people in recovery and poverty need to find out about, or even establishing credit if we have someone coming out of education, such as high school and college, because not having that financial security can really make it hard to focus on goals for the future. Plus, we have a whole lot more programs, but definitely, I want you guys to check out our website at tentalk.org, T-E-N-N-T-A-L-K.org, and just review our programs and call us at 615-617-5300, and we can definitely help you uh, find a way to increase the quality of care for your patients. Thank you.